Pearl spoke a lot about decision making. Well, the ultimate decision in basketball is the shot pass drive decision. You know, and the ultimate small sided game in basketball is one on one. Uh, all those drills where we're moving the ball, advantage, disadvantage, they're hugely important. But let's not put the baby before the, uh, uh, put the cart before the horse. But to make sure that we can play one on one, we can make reads on the one on one situation. And the big one with that is closeouts. We've got the Boomers in town. Our Boomers head coach, Brian Gorgian, talks about win the first two closeouts, win the possession. Win the first two closeouts, win the possession. Now he's talking defensively. So the ball gets kicked ahead. Can we slam that great closeout? The ball's reversed. We get another closeout. We're going to win that possession defensively. Right? And if you think about Brian's teams, that's what they do. Well, we're going to talk offense. We want to win the first two closeouts offensively. So the ball's kicked ahead. I want to catch the ball in the air and be in attack mode. Whether it's catch the ball in the air and rear into my shot, and we know now the early three-point shot's such a weapon, or I want to step into it, and now I'm attacking and I'm getting two feet in the paint. All right, so that we're going to work a lot on that. Think about, we always talk that closing out is the hardest skill defensively. Close out and containment footwork is the hardest skill defensively. Well, if that's the case, why aren't we looking to exploit that offensively as, as much as we possibly can? Last thing linked to that, how do your kids catch the ball? All right, and, you, and you see in the drills that Jamie did, the kids got really good understanding. A lot of good coaches here in Bendigo over a long period of time, the kids have got great understanding. They, they shift it, they make the extra pass, but how often was there a fumble? How often was the pass delivered here? How often did they catch it with their heels down? All right? So that, that limits their ability to do the next thing. So linked to attacking the closeout is your ability to catch it with intent. So give me, um, guys, come back down, the demonstrators. Give me the six guys up to start. Girls, you'll be on the baseline. You come in, run, let's move. So Dash, you're up there. Someone where the, the, it changes the three-point line. Same on that side. Need a defender here and a defender there, All right? So you just move this, yeah. So you would have seen this drill before, Spurs advantage or Spurs decision drill. But to make sure that we're really impacting our ability to catch the ball in the air and attack closeouts with intent, we're going to start it higher. All right? So we're going to... This is way a bit there. So we're going to start the, the guards up what we call the high out. All right? because we want to catch the ball through the three-point line, not on the three-point line, all right? Same, we know that we've got to fill corners and the, and the ability of players to shoot the corner three, but we want people to be moving to the corner rather than standing. So what we got is you start the drill dash by just middle drive, all right? Now, you're going to... No, no, stay there. You're going to pick a defender to cut off. So you're going to deny that. So go. Who are you going to pass to? All right. And as that happens, you're going to get in the lane. You're, I'll be you. All right. As that happens, I'm track as he throws it, I'm stepping through the catch. I want to catch the ball through the three point line, not out. So as Dash goes, and I know he's a big time penetrator, stop. Got to move at my pace, brother, not yours. All right? I know he's a big time, big time penetrator, so first thing I've got to do is sit, raise hungry hands, and I'm going to swing outside leg through, right, and get my feet organized and catch it through the three-point line. Now I've got inertia to shoot it, or if this guy helps, extra. All right? Go back. 
So we start high and we catch it through the three-point line. So as you go, pick a side. Now, you no, you're just going to feel back where you come from, Dick. Right? You make an extra. Now you've got to drive it. Same, you're picking, a, you're picking a, a side. So now you're throwing the diagonal. You're catching it through here. You're hitting that. All right. Every catch is, every catch, ball's in the air. I'm in the air. These guys at the high out, after I've penetrated and kicked, I'm going to come, I'm going to sit down here 30 feet from the basket and play with my hands and my hips. Now there's penetration. I'm coming and I'm every through, I'm skipping through every catch. All right, last thing. The ability to shot fake will add to their ability to dominate the closeout. All right, you've got to, you've got to drill the shot fake. You see kids when you do drills, you go, okay, shot fake, one dribble, jump shot. Who cringes when you hear that drill? This one. All right, everything's a game of deception on offense. So as they step in, they've got to look like they're the best shooter in the world. All right, so we've got to step in. So start high and we're playing. Go, go, hard, hard, hard. Next, no, 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 no. You're gonna throw that extra every time, that's all right. I'd rather you shoot it than turn it over. Here we go, play. Good, there, extra, drive it, drive it. Kick, who's open? Extra, good, good. Shot fake, yep, drive it, drive it. If you wanna kick out, right, good. All right, shift it, drive it, drive it, good. Shift it, drive it, good. Good, right, girls, you're in. Give me six up. So, again, I'm sure you do this all the time, and I see this drill used a lot in warm-ups, and it's great. But unless you're really drilling down into the closeout, the footwork, the body language, the hands, you're robbing the kids, all right? And you see it's harder in the corner. The corner footwork has to be, has to be jump stop. Right, slide, and then I'm skipping into my shot, two feet. How often do we see kids step out of bounds? All right, so I'm sliding, and now I'm lifting into my shot. Here, at the high out, I want to hunt a three-point shot. So it's coming out, I'm here, and I'm skipping through that catch. Now, if it's a good closeout, I'm shot fake, I'm going. How is the closeout with the boys? The, the shot fake with the boys? I'll answer, awful, all right? Girls, every time you catch it before you either pass it or drive it, you have to shot fake with intent, okay? Start with middle, go hard, hard, go, go. Pick a side, who's open, who's open? Shift it, shift it. Good, good, good. That's it, good job. Shot fake, good, drive it, good. Who's open? Good. Good. All right. So, boys, you're in. Let's go. A lot better. What did you see a lot more of? The shot fake. But they did a far better job than their male counterparts. Every catch, balls in the air, they're in the air. You notice that? In the corner, they're skipping in. So they're ready. They're building inertia to make the next play. They're stepping in from that high out to make the next play. So guys, you got the same thing now, all right? You gotta make sure that you're really working on attacking that close out, stepping in. You're catching it in the air, you're into your shot. You're stepping in, you're into your shot. After the fourth pass, it's live. After the fourth pass, it's live. Play, be ready, be ready, be shot, good, step in, good. Next, good, good. Who's it, good. Good, way to step in. Now we're playing, now we're playing. Girls, you're up. Good job, fellas, that's a lot better. Let's go, quick girls, just start. After the fourth pass. Hey, how much were better than the boys there? I told them they were worse than the girls, so what did they do? Well, I'm not copping that, all right? Good. All right, boys, you're up, quick. Now, it's a little thing, but it's like brushing your teeth. You gotta do it every day. You can't, 
you, got, you, you think about the closeout. Remember, win the first two closeouts, win the possession. If, if attack and closeouts is important to you, you've got to drill it, you've got to teach it, and at times you've got to be a ruthless dictator on it. So in these drills or any passing drills or any of the advantage drills that the coach did, don't tolerate heel catches. And what I mean by that, I've got my heels there. I'm not ready to go. My calves aren't engaged. I'm not ready to play basketball, all right? Ball's in the air, you're in the air. If it's corner, it's this. If it's the high outs or the 45, we're stepping in, all right? And everything's got to be right, at tempo and you're trying to build inertia through the three-point line, not three-point line, okay? So now, what we got is this. On the second pass, we're live. On the second pass, we're live. Everyone's got to play with hungry hands. Too many of you guys, when the ball's not directly impacted with you, you stand in here. If you want to be a really good offensive player and really good at attack and closeouts, I'm playing with my hips and my hands. My hips are down and I'm hunting things with my hands. Second pass, we're live. No rules. Play. Hard, hard, hard. Extra, good, play, attack him, good, attack. What do you got, what do you got, what do you got? Good. All right, now, girls, you're in. I said second pass, we're live, no rules. What they heard is second pass, we're live, don't go inside the three-point line because you'll get a virus. All right? It's, it's four on two, we go kick, 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 Three. Now, is there an open three? Yeah. Any idiot can get an open three, and most do. All right? You, you might be open for a reason, <laughs> okay? So, it's a, on the second pass, it's live, right? But you can do anything. Cut, you can put it on the floor. If there's no one guarding you, all right? I've got a colleague here. In, he's got a great saying, the obvious thing to do is the obvious thing to do. So I catch it here, she's shading that, what's the obvious thing to do? Who's between me and the basket? The obvious thing to do is go and shoot a layup, all right? But I've got to be loaded on my closeout so I can do that. Second, second pass, we're live and we're attacking closeouts. Here we go. Good, good, good. Here we go, what do you got, what do you got? Good girl. Good, bang. Good job. All right, boys, you're in. We've all heard, heard those, those things from, from paint to great, but you know we want to get the ball in the paint, kick it out. Now that three, I just said we don't want to shoot threes. She, as soon as she shot, I said, good job, because there's a difference, right? They weren't waiting for the three-point shot. They attacked the paint, and a really quali quality one was there, all right? Hey. You guys need to be better. Go. Good, what do you got? Good, shift it. Good, what do you got, what do you got? Good, good shot fake. Good, girls you're up, quick. Now, hold up. There's always slippage. And this is where I said you've gotta be a ruthless dictator with the footwork. If they're catching it with their heels on the floor, you're not going to be great at the drive and kick, and individually, they're not going to be great at attack and closeouts. All right? You see the really good players, all right? And often, particularly here, they, they see themselves here and they just do this. If you watch Mitch McCarron tomorrow night, and Jamie's lucky enough to coach Mitch, all right? He's a good athlete, but not a great athlete, but he becomes an impossible athlete to guard because he doesn't stand here and wait. He see here, boom. And just that, you come guard me, all right? The ball's over there, I move, what are you gonna do? And then I change to here, what have I got, all right? I'm an active receiver. That's a really important thing to get across to your kids, be an active receiver, all right? Ready, go. Good, good kick. What do you got, what do you got? Play, play. Good, good. 
All right. So on that, on that, I would do that in warm-ups the whole time. What it does is it gives you a lot of passing, a lot of passing. And, you know, who thinks they coach a team that's an outstanding passing team? Good, we've got no liars. All right? Which player have you coached that said, hey, we're going to do 15 minutes of passing, and they went, cool, coach, I love you. Good, we've got no liars. So you've got to be a bit sneaky, all right? So this is actually a passing drill as much as anything else. Then it's a catching drill. And when I mean catching, I don't mean like Aussie hoops. Catch I mean, we're catching it loaded. Now we're reading closeouts. All right, so give me... Someone there, halfway between the blue line and the yellow line. All right, and you're there. Ball's here, I only need three to start. I only need three to start. I need uh, two to start, sorry. Go, right? So you're gonna throw it to me and you're on the close out to him, right? And then we're just playing. We're just playing. So defensively, I'm not talking about the D today the only thing I would say on the closeout is teach realistic anatomy, all right? Realistic body movement. You know, we all want people to close out, but then we teach them stuff that's just not sound, all right? And what I mean by that is, if I'm you, you know, for years we've said, take the, move the foot closest to the person, all right? and then swing this through, run, choppy steps. If you talk to a sports scientist and they hear that, they, they cringe, all right? Just in terms of what that means in terms of basic human movement. I coach with a guy, Gary Fox, um, with the Opals, and I was teaching this, and he said, why do you teach that for? And I had all, I was, you know, I'm really smart, so I had all these great things. He goes, let's watch the next four players. We watched Taylor, Snell, Jackson, Harrower. A reasonable team, reasonable players, right? Reasonable. Not one of them moved that foot first. Not one of them moved that foot first, all right? And they did all different things. So I guess the point I'm making is, yeah, we want to make sure that we can accelerate and decelerate and arrive with hand positioning. Work out what you best want to teach that, but also, if it's Penny Taylor, and she throws a hip, so she's here, and as it goes, she just throws that hip, and then swings this through, guess what I never said to Penny Taylor? No, 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 Penny, move this foot first. Now, there's two reasons why I didn't do it, what she would say to me, and secondly, she's the second best player in the world, all right? So defensively, it's all about can you accelerate and decelerate? So you arrive on balance, all right? Jump back there. Offensively, now you've got space, so you can push, yeah, all right? He's going to throw it to me. Your job's to catch it in the air. Ball's in the air, you're in the air. Catch it through the three-point line, not on the three-point line. All right, and then make a decision. All right, play. Here we go. No, 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 no. It's you, it's you, brother. It's you. All right, now, great point. Great point. Make sure in your small sided games and, and in your teaching that you don't create robots. What was he thinking when he received that ball? Split, kick, extra. I've got to throw the extra. All right, and we'll work on that soon, all right? You, that's why you gotta play one-on-one. One-on-one, -on -one, there's no extra. Now, I'm all for it, throw the extra pass, play unselfishly, but did he have one thought about scoring? He's in a closeout situation, who's, it, who's an advantage? Him, massively. And what do you do? Pass it. Now, he passed it because he's compliant and he thought that's what I wanted, so it's not a criticism. Mate, you be a ruthless killer. I mean, ruthless killer on this closeout. All right, here we go. Good, next, next up, let's go, next up. 
Quick, 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 quick. Girls, get six, get ready. All right, you start with the ball. Here we go. Good. Good job. Here we go. Now, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, stop. Really smart player. See what the others did? They were really compliant. They came right to the split line. They passed the ball to me. She's doing this. All right. Ten years ago, I would have said, hey, don't do that to my drill. Now I'm like, I love this kid. All right. Be a bit more honest now. Here we go. Good job. Now, both pretty good, but they created an inertia this way instead of this way. They both caught the ball in the air. They went about this distance. It's a massive advantage. So I'm here, I'm almost heels on the, and I, boom. All my inertia is going this way, all right? And it, the hardest thing to do, as we said, accelerate, decelerate. So while they're trying to figure out how to decelerate, what am I doing? Basketball's a game of opposites. As they're decelerating or stopping, I'm gone. All right, here we go. Another three up, quick, doesn't matter who. No, 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 let her get organized. All right, just a little bit higher. All right, go. No, 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 no. All right, you gotta be like a killer. All right, so start a bit higher, all right, that way. As the ball's in the air, hips down, hands up, and I'm gonna hit, I'm a superb passer, so you don't have to worry about turnovers, all right? And then you just gotta catch it and you're going. All right, you ready? Here we go. Good. Now, who noticed the subtle nuances you did then? Basketball is a game of geometry. It's angles. Everyone else is coming straight down the pipe here. I don't know if you even noticed it because it was subtle enough. She just faded a little bit. She just went on a different angle because the person closing out, it, they know it's a hard situation. So they, they've committed to one angle. All of a sudden, she just went here. So where was the closeout now? There. Right, so part of it is knowing, and Jamie references, know your opponent. I was interested to see when, because I know he's a great defender, who, who went by him and gave him, gave, gave him a layup, all right? He shaded to the left hand. He just shaded to the left, he came this way just a little bit, so he was in control of the angle, and then he's got it done, all right? So that's what we talk about being an active receiver. One more, one more, here we go. All right, and if, you've, if you're lucky enough to have athletes with fast twitch, so he does it differently. All right, he does it like his brother, his brother's a fair player. All right? So he comes and he's got fast twitch, so he can stop and go quickly. So we talk about know your opponent. We also got know thyself. What do you do really, really well? All right, if you're, a, if you're an elite shooter, I'm going to step in low and slow and ready to go into my shot. If I'm an elite penetrator, all right, fast twitch like that, I'm going to get to it quick, catch it on two, and then I'm gone because I can, remember, the offense can always act quicker than the defense can react. And that's what we're trying to do. The closeout and containment environment is, is a series of reactions. Offense, it's a series of actions. All right, now, give me uh, uh, guys again to start. All right, so someone here handle up the high out. Someone on the, where the uh, three point line changes, you're guarding him. All right, now, so what, but you're guarding him in relation to, to here, all right? So, Dash can go either way. He can go 
Lane drive, as soon as he touches the key, he's got to pass it. All right? You're closing out, and we're playing. All right? If he goes middle, quick. If dash goes middle, right, show, and then go. Now, this is not a defensive drill. It's an offensive drill, right? You've got to be an active receiver, i.e., don't run to a corner and think, I've gone to the magical drift corner. You know, we've all heard of the five Ds, driver, drift, drag, dunker, yada, yada, yada. That's not how basketball's played. It's sound teaching the macro, but it's not how it's played. You don't run to a corner and shoot a shot. You run to the corner, you realize you got there too early, what are you gonna do? Move a second time. All right, if you watch tomorrow night, there's a kid, Alex Tui, right? He's one of the kids from the Center of Excellence. Biggest skill, he moves twice on every cut. Moves twice. He'll go to the corner, then he'll back cut. He'll go to the corner, then he'll lift. He'll flare and he'll come back. Elite skill at 18. Moves twice. That's what we're trying to get here. All right, let's go. Girls, you're up next, so you be organized. Yeah, yeah. Which way you want to go, all right? As soon as you get to the, the lane line, go. You've got to be a bit real. If you're guarding him, you've got to be a bit realistic. Go. All right, girls, you're up. If I was to critique that one, I would say that that guy did, wasn't an active receiver. How far did he move? All right? He moved about a meter if I'm being nice. All right? You've got to be flying, and you hear the great shooters in the NBA They'll talk about fly aside. Fly aside. In other words, it's penetrate. I'm flying here. I'm flying. If I've got this whole side, I'm thinking wide open three, I'm attacking this. All right? So if you wanted to, you could start corner and lift. But you've got to make sure you catch it out of that cylinder. All right? I want you to get it two meters. Now stay there. Either two meters higher or two meters lower. Because on that last closeout, he was able to get there because he knew exactly where they were. All right, play. Go, hard. Good, close, close. Good. Keep playing. Next, let's go, next. Quick. Sleep at night, let's go. All right, now, again, Contested, they got to the closeout, didn't they? They got to the closeout. Now, I'm not worried about the ang foot angles and whatever else. It's because these guys don't move. So as he, as she goes, it'll be you. I'm going early because she's coming middle. Then as she gets the lane, now I'm coming here and I may even just catch it and keep, and I'm playing there. Got to move twice, active receiver. Hungry hands, hips down, you're moving your feet. Let's go. Good, good girl. Good. That was perfect. Let's go. Here we go. Hard. Good. Good. Not bad. Good. All right, the girls do... I don't know who the girls coach is, but he's done a great job. I was being sarcastic. <laughs> no, hey, I wasn't being sarcastic about the great job, all right? They move and they catch the ball with their feet. They catch the ball with their feet, all right? You see that, that drive? She went and she goes, oh, there's no one there. So her next movement was forward and now she's, she's on the rim. You know, Pearl spoke about the three-point shot. There's nothing wrong with a three-point shot. You know, if you don't shoot 25, 30 in a game now in the FIBA level, you don't win, right? But if you shoot 45, you better be able to shoot, right? So we want to get paint touches as much as we want on the closeout. So guys, you're doing a great job of passing it, really good at passing, but you're just being a bit too passive. Don't worry that it's a clinic, all right? And don't worry about me yelling at you. I'll give you a new, I'm gonna yell at you regardless. 
All right? So be a real active, active receiver there. Play hard. Here we go. Close, 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 close. Good. Get it. Good. All right, last one. Close, close, close. Good. Good job, good job. You see the difference in the intent? All right? Everyone wants to drive and kick, whatever you call it, penetrate and pitch, you know. But a couple things. You gotta be able to pass and catch it at an appropriate level. The passing's pretty good, all right? As good as a job that the girls do with their feet, the boys do a great job with their hands, right? They're really quite creative. They read, help, and whatever else. It's the catching that's the hard thing. Are they loaded? Is it, are they that active receiver that puts pressure on the D consistently? Now, last thing that we want to do, now mindful of your time, with small-sided games, as I said, the ultimate small-sided games one-on-one. So don't get too married to three on two, four on three, advantage, disadvantage, and whatever else. You gotta play one on one. What do the best players do when it counts? All right? What did coach try and do late in the clock there? Move some people, get it to imagine on the side, get the hell out of the road, all right? That, that's basketball. Yeah, it's a team game, yeah, we wanna move it, but you've gotta give them the tools to play one on one. But one-on-one -on -one doesn't mean this. This dry, drill drives me insane. Come up here. You take, get the ball. Give me it. You ready? Play. When does that ever happen? Be cool if it did for the defense. All right? No closeouts and, and, and whatever else. Now, yeah, it's important. You can do it. I don't mind. But don't do it for any more than two minutes. He gets to go. I get to go. He gets to go. We move on. All right? So one-on-one -on -one doesn't mean that. It doesn't necessarily mean corridor. It means what it, movement into the next thing. So we'll go this. I'll have the ball here. Give me O and D there. O and D in the corner. Quick, quick. O and D. We lost one, have we? Yeah, it's all right. All right, ball's here. So you're going to down screen. All right, again. We're not talking about the D, but we just say, don't switch. So use the screen, come off it, come D, come. I'm a, so you're coming. Now, you've got to get an active catch. How often do you see kids coming off this? And the problem is we run so much false action, the kids, they don't think their, their only job in life is to catch it and move it on. You come off it with a threat, right? Like you want to come off it and catch it. Good, loaded, good. Now, if that happens, you come up and set a, a, a screen, right? You're going to switch it, go off it, you're out, you're out. And we're playing one-on-one, -on -one, right? So get some game-like action first and then play one-on-one -on because -one, that's what the game, it moves, it moves, it moves. Then we've got an advantage. And I thought Pearls was great, wasn't it? Big advantage, small advantage. All right, and the difference, big advantage, you might put a dribble or a pass constraint. Smaller advantage, shot clock. So we would play this off six seconds on the switch. Six seconds on the switch, that's about realistic. All right? You understand what we're doing? Here we go. I right, pass, go, get it. Let's go, come on, effort, effort, let's go, let's go. Good, good, come back, come get it. Switch it, you're out, you're out, you're out, you're out, you're out. Good, no, 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 it's one on one, you're playing, they're out. They're out of the drill after the pick. Go again. This is the other reason we got to play, we call this the Drake series. We got to use the Drake series because what did she do? She thought she's playing a drill. What did I ask her to do? Play one-on-one. -on -one. What's the first thing she wanted to do? Pass it to someone else, right? And everybody goes, oh, isn't that unselfish? No, it isn't. It's time to play. All right, we said six seconds left on the shot clock. We got to go. Play, play. Good, attack mate, attack mate, attack, attack. Good, That's, keep playing, keep playing. Now, perfect thing. So I just gave her a bake for being too compliant. What did she do? 
She screwed up the drill. How cool was it? You know, she goes, well, if they're going to, I'll just go there. But then she goes, oh, whoops, he's going to yell at me. All right, that's it. Let them play. Like, that's chaos. There's got to be an element of chaos. So that was a fantastic read. And yes, she batted away, but then you get out of it and you keep playing. Because you made a great play. All right, ball's here. Play. Harder, harder, harder. Good. Go get. Now you're out. Good. Play. Good. Next, next, next. Quick. Play. Down screen. Go. Next. Get the ball. The ball. Yeah, that thing. The round thing. Yeah, the ball. All right, here we go. Play. You're out. Good. Good. Now play one-on-one. -on -one. See how, see the confusion? We've just, very simple, down screen, ball screen, switch, two other people are out one-on-one. -on -one. All right? You've seen the movie The Sixth Sense? I see dead, they're seeing dead people. There's no one else out there. It's one-on-one, -on -one, just play that. But this is why one-on-one -on -one is the ultimate small-sided game. As I said, the stuff that JP did first class, we use it at the Centre of Excellence. I'm sure you use a lot of it. But what does it condition and do? Always do the next thing, involve the next person and whatever else. And unselfish play, I'm, I'm here for it. But gee whiz, at some stage, you've got to be in attack mode and go make plays. So the big thing is, don't overcoach this. That last one, these guys end up playing one-on-one. -on -one. Now, that wasn't the, what I wanted to happen. But is it a massive negative? What do I want to happen? Someone play one-on-one. -on -one. So it's those two guys, it's those two guys. Because that's basketball, chaos, particularly now against switching. You don't know who's going to be guarding you. You don't know who you're going to be guarded by. See the person in front of you and play them. All right? Here we go. Play. Come off it. Come off it. Good. Good job. All right. If I was critiquing this, they're playing the drill, not playing the game. There's a down screen. What one, there hasn't been a single player come off it and shoot it. There hasn't been a single player come off it, catch the ball in the air with intent. All right? So that's where you've got to be a ruthless dictator on being that active receiver. Now, put someone over there. Quick. No, stay here. Need two on two, on two here, one on one there. All right, so it'll be down screen. Come off it with genuine intent. Boom. All right, yep, they're good. All right, now you can guard her now. Come off it, trail it. There you go, yep. Yeah, you can switch that one, that's fine. Now, from there, all right, if you send it there, go on ball screen. Our whole thing, we need another guy guarding this guy. Our whole thing is to get it to this guy, then it's one-on-one. -on -one. So you can play some twos, you come off it, penetrate, you're out, play. Now, the challenge here, and this is why this is such an important drill, that guy stands over there with his heels on the ground. He should move, we spoke about Alex Turi and his ability to meet, move twice, he should move three times. Slide, right, come to the high out, next, and then the fourth time should be that attack mode. He's catching it in the air. All right, so we're just playing a bit of misdirection here. As soon as you can get it to the other side, and you should score nine times out of ten. Now, she's an elite defender, so I'm saying nine times out of ten. For the sake of the... It should be ten times out of ten. Look at the closeout she's got. Unless it's Damien Martin, good luck. All right? That's what we want to try and do. All right, play. Here we go. Good. Catch it with intent. Good. Move it. Turn it. Good. Get it to the other side. Close out. Good. Good boy. Good job. I really like that. 
he's on the other side, most kids will go which way? Always go down. Where did he come to? We call this the high out. He still caught it with intent, but look, he's created close out and close out. Now he's attacking in space, right? So he moved multiple times. There's no way. There's no way that she can get that done. One more. Here we go. Here we go. Good. Play some here. Play some here. Good. Get it to the other side. Get it to the other side. Drive. Drive. Good. Pretty good. All right. And that's the skill that we're trying to develop here. She did a great job too. She realized they were stuck.